Hello everyone, Matea here with Elgin Embellishments. Today I'm here to share with you my project that I created. Um, Elgin Embellishments is a Zibit store and I'll leave the link below. Um, so first of all, I just want to tell you how I kind of got the inspiration for this box. My boss had this um, box and she was going to throw it away and she thought maybe I could use it for something. So um, it's been in my stash for a while and I've finally found um, time to alter it. So I immediately thought of the Sweet Sentiments paper by Graphic 45 when I um, saw the green color of this box. And um, I wanted to do something for Valentine's Day, so I cut out the cherubs there, which are really cute. I ended up like buying a ton of this collection when it came out because um, I love just the theme of it and it's also spring and so you can kind of use it for other things too. Um, over here I just have a cluster of a purple, pink, cream, and white flower and then some of these gorgeous little rosebuds for my stash and then I also had this from a friend so I put that pearl spray there, and then I punched out some butterflies, and then put this chipboard piece from the collection here and tied a little seam binding bow. This butterfly was made um, by a friend, so I had gotten that in a rack, and um, I don't know if you can tell, it's still a little bit drying underneath here, but I spritzed it with scintillating silver because I wanted some texture on the box. And um, so it looks kind of funny on on um, the camera, but in person you can really see the silver shimmer. Um, and then I kind of just did the same thing in that corner, as you can see. So um, all around the box, I put this ruffled trim from my stash and then this gimp trim um, from D at Elegant Embellishments, and I love how that kind of tied in the white. I also put all around the box um, this really gorgeous bridal trim from D as well, and I love how. Um, how intricate it is. It's really pretty. And then I tied like a triple um, satin bow there and put one of her cherub charms and as you can see um, you can take out the like bezel from the top of the head just to use it as like an embellishment on your project instead of a charm. So that's what I did there. Uh, the bottom I left plain but I used some glass baubles um, layered up to make like feet. So these are some round glass baubles. They kind of use them for like fish tanks and decor and stuff like that. And then I just layered a um, crystal gem on each to kind of give it some height. So that's kind of how that looks. Um, so there's the front and then when you open it um, this is the inside and that was like the original look of the box so I kept that because it matched the paper really well and it also saved me time and measuring and all that stuff and then in the inside I put some pink chiffon or no kind of it did look like that I, originally I was going to layer pink chiffon fabric in the bottom but I just layered it with some pink paper to back this gorgeous um, vintage bridal lace from D, and then I layered more of that ruffle trim kind of to cover all the corners and edges of the lace and then it had these little um, bungee cord thingies here so I just cut like some postcard things from the collection to put in there and I thought they would be pretty to um, just kind of look like vintage postcards in there. And then just some more little cutouts 
there. Um, I thought about decorating the inside, but it has to close on top of everything, so I didn't want it to be too bulky inside. Um, so that's what the inside looks like. I think it turned out really pretty. And I may give this um, in a gift. I'm trying to um, clean my craft room out a little bit, and I don't know, you guys, what I'm going to do with all my stuff. So that is my box, and I really love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, please go check out Dee's channel and also her Facebook page. I will leave in the description link below. She, she sells um, pre-orders for the silicone molds, which I've used in my previous projects, but today I decided to use some of her other products from her store in this um, cute box that I've made. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.